a very special Zoom for you tonight. Um, this is our regular Thursday night Zoom, but tonight we are going to be talking about um, recruiting up and sharing the opportunity of Rx with people that might be a little bit on your chicken list. And everybody's got one. And if you've been in the business for six years, six and a half years, trust me, you're gonna have to hit that list. And um, my name is Tammy Malpe. I jumped into the business of Rx, Limu, actually uh, almost six and a half years ago. And um, love the opportunity. I had work in another area. I had worked for many years had success in that area, but I could not find work um, that I needed to pay my bills in the field that I had previously been in. And so I was on a hunt to find something that we would create a residual income for my family. Um, I love health and wellness and a good friend who invited me to take a look. Um, I am forever grateful to Tom Davis for allowing me to take a look. And so tonight, if you've been invited to this Zoom, I wanna welcome you. Um, I wanna encourage you that the person that invited you, they invited you for a purpose. And that's because they thought this is something worthy and valuable for you to take a look at and consider to see if it might be something for you and your family. Um, no more ado with me. I've, I am going to give the floor to the amazing Robin DiMio. Um, I met Robin about two, six years ago, maybe, uh, and maybe a little less than that. And uh, actually, I think six years ago. Anyway, she came to my house um, for an opportunity for a cake, and the rest was history. We um, struck up a great uh, relationship and friendship. I didn't know that she was looking for something to help her with her health. And isn't that just the truth? We don't know what people are often looking for. And so we just share the opportunity and let people take what they need. Um, Robin is um, quite a leader inside of RX. Uh, she is one of our top ranking leaders and um, she's a ton of fun. So Miss Robin DeMio from Colorado Springs. Hi, honey. It's hi. all, hi, it's all yours, girl. Hi, welcome everybody. Wow. You know, it's gonna be an awesome call. You know why? Because it was a little difficult to get here. And isn't that how life is sometimes? If it's difficult to get there when you're on your journey, you know you're on the right path. Because if you have no opposition, you might be going the wrong way. So welcome, and we're glad you're here. And if you still need to text people, go ahead because you know, if they hear a little bit, that's better than hearing nothing. So text your guests and uh, bring them on. So um, thank you, Tammy and Eva. So we have, uh, Tammy and Eva and I have partnered together. Uh, it's, it, it's five and a half years almost. So a year, it's five years and four months exactly that I have been with this amazing company and that I call home now. And um, wow, it has been a ride. It has been such a great journey. So one of the things I wanna to talk to you guys tonight about is um, talking to people who might be on your chicken list. Do you all know what your chicken list is? The chicken list is the person that you think is, got, is just got a little one up on you maybe has a little bit better life that they look like they have a better life or you you don't have as enough self-confidence that you think they have a better life but you know what we're really all the same you guys we're all the same and so um, most people the first thing i want to tell you is most people are not going to see this opportunity especially on the first try why is that if you look at the statistics, statistics say that at the age of 65, most people are broke, right? And what does that say? That says that they didn't plan for their future. They didn't look for the better opportunity. They didn't look for something bigger. They, didn't, they weren't really looking. They kind of assumed that life would take place and that things would just fall into place and they'll be taken care of until they get in that spot when something really does happen, right? And so, um, you know, when I, when I first joined this company uh, 
five and a half years ago, I really had to think about things. Like I wasn't really in a position to invite other people because I didn't feel good and my life didn't look very great on the outside. But I, the first thing I want to tell you about that is listen to your intuition. Listen to what is inside of you that is listening to the other people who are sending out their prayers. They're sending out their vibes. They're saying, I need some help. And one of the people that I, that I heard in my little intuition, my loud voice inside of my quiet heart was, oh my gosh, is I needed to talk to this one woman who was a doctor. Well, let me just tell you, I was a bartender by trade. I had also been a minister. And so those two don't make very much money sometimes, depending on where you work. And so when I reached out to Dr. Crystal Vance, um, she, I really knew she needed a great product benefit. And so I knew she had an autoimmune disease and I knew the products that were helping me might be able to help her. So I just told her a little bit about the products. And what I didn't know is that she needed a health benefit, but she needed a massive financial benefit. She was making six figures already, but she was seeing 40 to 60 patients a day. Can you imagine adjusting people as a chiropractor, 40 to 60 people a day? That's like one every 15 minutes. So she had to push them through her clinic and she knew she could only help a certain amount of people. But here's the thing, she wanted to help a lot of people and she was broke at a six figure income. Anybody ever know how that is? It doesn't matter if you make a four figure income or a five figure income or a six figure income. People can be broke at every level. And so she needed more in her life. And so when I offered her something, she didn't bite at it right away. She just said, okay, I'll take a look. And so she was inside thinking about her future. It took her three months. Now I'll tell you this folks, you're, you're looking for the lookers. Don't look for people who are satisfied in their dumpy life. <laughs> you know, let's just be frank. If we're satisfied in our dumpy life, we're not going to look for more. And so most people also do not take a bite on the first time. So you want to make sure that you're continuously dripping information to them. It was three months later that Dr. Crystal contacted me back and she said, I, I think I want to do this. And boy, oh boy, did she. She did. She took off. But I would have never asked her if I hadn't listened to my intuition that who was out there looking. And how many of you know that we're all on our knees, whether we're physically on our knees or we're just doing it in our heart, we need something more. People need something more, especially right now, especially right now. So think about those people who are maybe looking really put together. Maybe they walk with a sass in their kick, in their step. Maybe they have a, a really great job. Maybe they have something that you want. And so what do you have to do to talk to those people? You have to be noticeable to them. Because if you're living your dumpy life and you don't have any self-confidence and you don't have any motivation, those successful people are not going to look at you. And I will tell you this, deep inside of me, even though I was a bartender and that was the, my, my vehicle to, to get me through a crisis, when I went to pick up a cake at Tammy Malpy's house, she did not look dumpy. She looked pretty cute. And I think I even told her that. She was sassy looking in her cute little dress, got her little shake going on. I know she don't like me to talk about that. <laughs> I know why Jerry likes to watch her walk. And so um, really, uh, I, w I thought, wow, she's something. I want to be like that. Even though deep inside, I know that I'm like that. And so, you know, you've got to work on yourself. So if you want to be a millionaire, you better get a millionaire attitude. You better get a millionaire walk. 
you better get a, an outfit that makes you feel like a million bucks so that other people can notice what's going on. They're going to say, wow, what's happening with her? And that's what Crystal did. By the time she contacted me, she had already been watching me on social media. She had been watching me grow and watching my income raise and she watched me with my new car and she knew my life. So those people that you're that are already in your life that are watching, I will tell you they are watching you. When you start something new, they're watching. And so here's a couple of other tips. You want to make it duplicatable. Don't make it too complicated, guys. You don't you don't want to give them the whole spiel in the first talk. You want to talk a little bit here and a little there. And sometimes what I do is I'll, I'll just give a little teaser. I'll say a little teaser comment, and then I'll change the subject back to what we were talking about. And then I'll give a little teaser comment so that they are asking me. Because you don't want to be a hunter. You want to be the hunted. You want people to come for you for what you have to offer them. What is it? It, what's in it for them? What do they need in their life? Crystal didn't look like she needed one thing, but she needed an income that she could do on the side that she could build a future with. And it took her only three years, I believe, four years, and she was able to retire from that. So here's something else. You must work on yourself more than you work on anything else. You have to listen to the top people. You have to listen to find somebody that you can relate to that's way more successful. And those people will come to you when you start acting like that person, when you start carrying yourself a little bit higher, when you're not looking at the ground walking around the, uh, the, around the mall or the store. If you hold your head back, that's one thing I learned a long time ago. I learned from a, my first network marketing company I, and when I was 19, I learned, you look people in the eye. You stand up tall and hold your shoulders back. I don't care if you just file bankruptcy. You hold your shoulders back and you be proud and you have some dignity about who you are. And we all go through hard times. Believe me, I've had my, my share, but you must walk with with intention, you must give a handshake that's firm and uh, strong. Now, you're not going to crush their hand, but give a firm handshake. Of course, we can't do that now, so you could give a hip bump or something, but really, you want to give some confidence back. You want to increase your energy. How do you do that? If I'm walking around with my face looking down and I don't have any purpose in my life, I'm telling you, I go to the grocery store like that. I dress for the grocery store. I put my makeup on, I do my hair, and I walk around the, dress, the grocery store like I'm a millionaire. Because in my heart, I really am. And I'm going to be there very soon. So you have to do that too. You've got to grow in your heart so that you can attract the people that you want to attract. Do they want what you have? You are the best messenger and you have to work on yourself as if you already have it. Would you look in the mirror and, and would you hire yourself? Would you sponsor yourself? Is that something that you would do? You've got to be able to know that I'm, I am somebody who want, people want to follow, right? Would you want to follow me? Of course you would. I would want to follow most of you too. So we have to increase our energy and we have to have smiles on our face. And you know what? The bottom of the barrel might be falling out beside you, but you've got something in your hand that's so powerful to change people's lives. So you've got to know that. And then you have to get yourself out of the way. This biggest tip, one of the biggest tips I have is that you can't get emotional. It's not about you guys. It's not about you. It's about what do you have to offer somebody who's looking? They're looking for help. People are looking for help all the time. So when you're talking to them, your ears are more 
You have two ears and one mouth. You're listening. You're listening to what are they saying? You know, I'm so sick and tired of driving my kids to this, to school all the time. And then I have to pick them up. I don't have any time to do what I want to do. You know, I have to go do my job, blah, blah, blah. People will complain. They will complain. They'll tell you everything that's wrong with them. They will tell you every little thing. If you'll listen long enough, they'll tell you the whole thing, soup to hay. And so listen for what their need is. Do they have a financial need? Do they need some time freedom? Do they need some really great people in their life? Do they need some good products to help them feel better? You've got to look for these things and be consistent with these things. Look all the time. I look everywhere I go. I'm always looking for lookers. I'm looking for a clue. And sometimes when you're out somewhere, you might see somebody and it kind of almost looks like they're illuminated. That's kind of your, uh, the world telling you, focus on that person. Focus on that person. What do they need? And you know, one time I was in the grocery store and I saw this gal and she was so put together and cute. She had a little leopard shoes on and a red vest and she was beautiful. And so I kind of, I was sorry at the, you know, vegetables and I, I felt like I was supposed to go tell her she was beautiful. That was it. I wasn't supposed to go offer her the world on a platter. And so I, you know, I thought, oh, I'll just do it later, you know. So I went around the store and there I saw her again. There she is. It comes up again. Oh, sh oh she probably doesn't want to talk to me. Well, we're all the same, you guys. We all have doubts, right? So finally, I get all the way to the cash register and she's got her grocery over in the line next to me. And I thought, oh, okay, I'll go tell her. So I stepped away from my cash register and I went over to her and I said, excuse me. I just felt like I wanted to tell you how beautiful you are. And do you know, she almost started crying. She said, I, I can't even believe you're telling me that. Oh, she reached out, she gave me a big hug. This is before coronavirus. And she said, thank you so much. That made my day, I needed to hear that. So brighten somebody's day up because then you can make a connection with them, right? And you wanna make a connection with their heart. And, you know, I know guys, sometimes this sounds a little mushy gushy and girly whirly and all that stuff, but guys need it too. You know, guys need it too. You can be strong and you can be, you can be masculine and you can do that too. You can go up to some guy and you can say, Hey, is everything going all right, man? I just thought I'd come up and say, you know, Hey, how you doing? You don't have to tell them they're beautiful. <laughs> you can just tell them whatever you, whatever comes to your mind. Okay, so you have to master the mundane, you guys. If you want to be successful, you must master the mundane. And what is that? It's the everyday grind in this business. It's the everyday grind. It's reaching out to people. It's running the play. It's running the play. It's running the play. And what are you doing? You're dripping people information all the time. You're constantly giving people information. Because when someone says no, it doesn't always mean no. Most of the time, it doesn't mean no. Most of the time, it means I don't know, or I don't have enough information, or not now, because maybe they love their job. Maybe they absolutely love their job. Or what if, what if they just got a pay increase? What if they just got a raise? They're feeling really good about their job. You know, every three months, something happens in people's lives. You're either going into a crappy situation, you're in the middle of a crappy situation, or you're coming out of one, right? So things change for people. What if in three months, the, the person gets a new boss and they can't stand them and now they hate going to work? Doesn't matter that they got the raise. If they don't like going to work, they're going to be out looking. Hmm, what else is out there for me? So keep that in mind. And I won't be very long here. I'm just going to tell you a couple other things. Be the best you, do not take it personal, work on yourself at all times and look for those people who are looking, even if you don't see it blatantly, even if you don't see it. Here's another example. If you've had somebody that you talked to four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, six months ago, 
and they either came on board or they and they didn't do a lot or they didn't come on board keep in touch with them because you never know when they're watching you as and they will they will watch you when they're watching you they're going to see something happen in your life and i just had that happen with two new people that um that i was in touch with four years ago five years ago and they reached out to me and came on board and now they're on fire it's time they're ready they're ready how many times have you had something come in your life and you're not ready and then a few months later a year later you're ready so watch for those opportunities be consistent and here's the biggest tip i can give you never quit never never give up the only way that you will fail in this industry is if you quit if you let that little frustration get under your skin and irritate you and you get bored with doing the mundane the everyday thing if you let that happen and you quit now you have failed but if you let that happen and you overcome now you've conquered and you're succeeding so that's all i have for you all tonight i hope you uh, got some value out of that please put value in the chat room and uh thank you tammy and eva it was such a pleasure to be with you gals tonight and we'll see you all thursday morning on my zoom Thank you, Robin. Awesome. Oh my goodness. That was so encouraging. Um, I think you would be the per perfect person to listen to before you pick up a phone and you go to your chicken list. <laughs> I'm just going to listen. I'm going to listen to Robin's Zoom before I pick up my phone. Um, that was awesome. Incredibly valuable information. And I just want to encourage everybody, um, the chat section is there for you to ask questions, for you to say what you love, what you really appreciated, and I love that. And so I'm going to now turn the Zoom over to Eva, Eva baca Kearns. She is another one of our amazing uh, 100K leaders inside of our company. Uh, that just means that she's built a big team and she serves a lot of people. That's honestly what it means. And she's um, a little firecracker. So you get two firecrackers. Well, I think you've got three firecrackers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you're going to get Eva. Eva's going to um, share with you the opportunity that Robin's talking about, how it was so not just informational in Robin's life, it was truly transformational. And again, if you've been invited to be on the Zoom tonight, this is a really important part of uh, for the next couple minutes for you to hear how you can get started and have your own transformation experience. And um, and Eva's going to share that with you. Eva, are you there, my dear? Yes, I am. Hello, everybody. Yay. And thank you for staying on till we got that password issue worked out. Yes. And um, if you'll see my background, I am in the mountains. I am in front of a waterfall doing what I love best, helping people change their lives one story at a time. And that's what I love about this business. I made this background because we need to remember that this is a business you can do from anywhere. And Robin, that was just absolutely amazing. I just really master the mundane. And no, I have this thing, hashtag know who you were created to be. And so this is the deal. I was a pastor. Um, I used to be a systems engineer. My husband was an engineer. Um, I have owned, hello, I'm Eva. I am a serial entrepreneur. I was kind of like a business snob. Um, I believe that you had to have a six figure um, loan out before you could start any business and you couldn't make any money until three to five years later. And I had it all together. And I had a friend who told me, Eva, you need to look at Lima. And it's like, excuse me, I'm a pastor. I've got a, I've got a ministry. I've got a coffee shop. I don't have time for this. And then life happened. Anybody have life happen? Come on. Come on. Well, life happened. And all of a sudden, 
my mundane life was not mundane anymore. It was like kind of a disaster. So I'm going to share my screen here with you. And there we go. Can you, can you see that? Can you see the slideshow? Yes, Eva, we can see it. Okay, so you never know where someone's at. You never know what's going on in their lives. Life was good for us. We had a ministry. We were traveling internationally. We were supporting a church. We were supporting um, a hospital. And um, life was good. And then life happened. Um, my husband came home with a life-threatening issue. I ended up 12 years in constant pain. We started a coffee shop because we thought that would be the perfect way to bring in extra income to support our habit which was helping others. And then life happened. And all of a sudden we couldn't even pay our own bills. And nobody knew it. Other than the fact that that picture in the middle of there, that was at my cousin's wedding. I had gained, I was 170 pounds. And we needed an answer. And my friend had the integrity, Betsy, um, Waters had the integrity to say, you know what, not only am I going to pray for you, Eva, when I called her, she said, remember, remember that thing I talked to you about? The one that I wanted nothing to do with? She said, I think this is your perfect answer. And being the snob, being the business snob that I was, I was like, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, you know, I've got a lot going on. And my husband said, Eva, do you trust her? Just do what she said. So I said, okay, sweetie. Because at the time we were losing our home, we had lost everything we'd, we'd, we owned. And so we were starting over, but nobody knew that. So you never know where somebody's at. You never know somebody's story. So never give up because you might be just the answer they need. And at the time we needed an answer. And what I love about this business is I, I have not changed what we did in ministry to what we're doing here. We're about changing people's lives one story at a time. And, but when you do that, you need to partner with the best. And what I love about our business is that we have partnered with the best. Right here, you will see in this picture, the owners of Rx have over a hundred and I think 15 years of combined experience. Not only that, they're the best in their particular field. And what does that mean to you? That means that if somebody has a bad day, they're not gonna change your comp plan. That means that if somebody has a, has a bad situation, they're not going to change the way things work because iron sharpens iron and we keep each other accountable. Not only that, we have, get this, a bill of rights. Can't change it without the people in the field agreeing with the owners and the seven owners have to come to an agreement. So it works in numbers. Not only that, Rx, now I like this because we were 57 in the network marketing industry last year. Now we're 35, according to uh, the 100 top direct sales companies in the world. And I have news for you. Uh, some of the numbers are out and we're going even higher. Now I want you to look at this. There's a thing that is called, there's, there's a point, there's a tipping point in a business where it comes from being nobody knows who you are to being a household name. Nobody knows who we are. We're Rx and we're the best in the industry. We are disruptive. We're changing the industry. And so where are we now? Take a look at the bottom of this arrow here. Right now, in 2019, we were, 100, we were a $220 million company. We are poised to be not only a $1 billion company, but we actually have plans for a $10 billion company. That means that you don't have to worry about your future. And I don't know about you, but I have a lot of friends right now worrying about their future. We are a global market. So what does that mean? So that means if something happens in one area of the world, we still have markets in this area of the world to balance it out. And I want you to take a look at this map here. Over here, do you see North America? 
There's not a lot of dots there. You know why? Because we're only 2% saturation. What does that mean to you? Woohoo! That means that we have an opportunity to be the best. That's why we went from 57 to 35. And how do we do it? It's real simple. We are disruptive. No one else in the industry does this. We are called a house of brands. What does that mean? We take the best non-toxic natural products and we bring them together. Like for example, the three of, uh, the three of us on this call, we started out in a company called Limu. Limu now has seven other brothers and sisters products that are the best in the market. I guarantee you that if they get past Deanna Lawson, it has to be good. So what kind of products do we have? Now, let me ask you a question. Anybody here take supplements? Anybody here take shakes? Anybody here buy water bottles? Do you know how much you're spending on a water bottle that's full of toxins? And actually there is it, toxins um, that will actually affect many things, including fertility. Um, we are, we have a, an essential oils brand, not only, but instead of having to figure out how to diagnose, because we do not heal, treat, or cure, or diagnose anything. We just have good, clean, products that work and all you have to do is be a product of the product see that very tired person on the right that was me six months ago see five and a half years ago we needed an answer and we changed not only our finances we changed our health on the inside and then we became part of RX and they had a skincare line. So I decided that the outside should be as good as the inside because I have news for you. I'm a woman of a certain age and my blood work after five years on top of the line products that work is perfect. So it's simple. You buy supplements, you buy shakes, you buy water. Isn't it strange that you have to buy water, but that's the world now wasn't that way 10 years ago. And 10 years from now, the world's going to be different. So why do you need a home-based business? Because it's real simple. If you're going to buy all those products, you might as well buy them from your own home-based business. Just redirect your spending. Redirect your spending. Spend the money in your own shop. Become a product of the product and share it with others. So how do you get started? First of all, take the products. Skincerity. Saw all those wrinkles drop away and look at this neck. Okay, look at this neck. It used to be a turkey neck. Six months, turkey is gobble, 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 gone. Uh, on the right, clean, pure, healthy energy drinks. Whoever invited you on this call, get the 20 reasons to drink Limu and um, 1,600, no, 1,900 studies on the Institute of Health database. Blender eyes, miracle drops. 170 pounds ago, I'm feeling pretty good now. Moa, 36 of the top super nutrients. Purity, see this little bottle here in the, in the, in the corner there? That is a hospital grade, food grade, non-toxic, antibacterial, antiviral, 99.99%. We sold out in three hours. You can pre-order now. So use the best products on the market. Become a transformation. You don't know what people need. Woman on the left, she didn't know she had a cancerous lesion. That's 60 days later. You know someone who has acne? That is devastating for a teenager. My friend, Craig Bumanini, he's lost a whole person. That was that little person, that little chica in the right, that's me 100, at 170 pounds. So 
What do you do? Very simple. Get a pack of products. That's how I started. I bought a pack of products. And you're going to say, but Eva, all I want to do is try the products. That's what I said. I wasn't into the business, remember? Uh, but the best way to try all the products is to get a pack of products. You have a, a, a sample of the best products that we have. Try them all. Become a product of the product. And then I guarantee you, the first month, I got my money back because people looked at me and said, whatever you're doing, I want it. They'll do what you did. I started with a pack of products, got my own transformation. They got their own transformation. And then what happens? Not only do you get the best products on the market, you get, we, we match dollar for dollar. Every dollar you spend, you get back on rewards dollars to spend again. What? Who does that? We do. Incentives. By the way, we're one of the few network marketing companies that has our own medical health plan. And it's saving hundreds of dollars a month for many of our reps. We're fresh in your approach. It's very simple. If you have a phone, you send out. You don't have to give a Zoom like this. You can invite people to our Zoom. But we have an app for the phone. All you do is send a video, say, hey, how would you like to join me? I'm really excited. So imagine this. I used to have a coffee shop. Somebody would come in. I would have to talk to them. I would sell them a, 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 a latte. And then the next day they would come in. I would sell them a latte. The next day they would come in. So in order for me to, to reach 4,000 people, I would have to talk to 4,000 people. But this is the beauty of network marketing. Betsy talked to me. I talked to four, who talked to four, who talked to four, who talked to four. And the next thing you know, four and a half months later, I'm making a house payment and a car payment. Not only a car payment. I didn't, it was a rent. Because remember, we lost the house. But we had a new beautiful house, a new car. We didn't have a washing machine. But six months later, our team was bringing in over $1.2 million dollars a year in revenue. Now imagine this, four times, four times, four times, four, you have 4,000 people. Now, this is not a get rich quick scheme. You share it with people, you will build a business. You don't share it, you will not build a business. It's very simple. You put in the work, people who work eat. So, to share the product. Now let me ask you a question. If in five years you were making, your company was bringing in $600,000 a year, would you be happy? making a house payment, a car payment, would that change your life? What if it happened in three years, two years, one year? That's what it did for us. You can do it. We believe in you and whoever else invited you, they believe in you too. So whether you wanna buy a house, it's a college fund, savings account, if you'd like to spend time on a vacation with us, whatever it is that you're looking for, let me ask, why spend Mondays or any day of the week with people you don't want to spend time with? What I love about our business is I get to spend time with people I love. And we succeed as a team, so it's real simple. All you need to know is this, get a pack of products. Become a transformation of the products. Do you trust the person who called, who called you, who invited you? Just get back with them, try the products. Become a part of the team because they believed in you. And if they believe in you and they're a part of the team, then we believe in you. And we are all here to help you. We are all here to be a part of your new, what is it that you said? Um, your new, um, your new non-mundane, new something. There's, there should be something there. Your new whatever it is. So. Thank you for being a part of this call. I'm not supposed to clap. Sorry, I'm working on it, Tammy. Um, Robin, thank you so much. That was so good. I'm just master the mundane. I will never forget that. Tammy, thank you so much again for helping me get back on the Zoom. And uh, thank you, Eva. Totally inspirational again. What a transformational story. Thank you so much. And thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Have a wonderful evening. 
Um, and we will, Robin's, I want to make a plug for Robin is going to be doing a Zoom uh, that she is hosting Thursday morning. And that is going to be at nine o'clock Mountain Time, 10 o'clock Central Time. And she always is a lively host and she always has a wonderful guest. So you'll want to make sure and join. So thank you everybody. And also Tammy, just, mm -hmm. just so you know, at seven o'clock on Thursday morning, we have a 10 minute wake me up inspiration. And uh, before Robin gets on and just takes it on home. Sounds great. Thank you everybody. See you next thank time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you, Tammy. Bye -bye. You're welcome. Thank you. Great call. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.